Damn it, stop swearing at me, mother... I'm not tough behind the window, I'm tough in front of the window. It's time to go. Your brother's playing some games. I don't give a how big you are, I'm in your face. Stop yelling. You're a you, I don't even want the car. A customer walks in to complain and Les is there to help him out. Hey, I need to speak to somebody up in here, man. Man, come on now. You the owner. Turn around and pay for that. What's up with that? Come on, you gonna talk to me? Orderly, I'm speaking English essay. Yeah? Tough? What's up? Things go from bad to worse. Look at that stuff, man. Come on. Stop yelling. About to make me jump over this counter in a minute. Show me the receipt. I ain't got no receipt, man. What am I supposed to carry it with me? Give me my money back now. Security and Les have enough and take care of him. Let's walk over to the refund department. We're going to go right here to the refund department. No, I ain't going over there. You're going. 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 you are going 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 you Ain't nobody in electronic. Now, who is you? I mean, what, you, you call it backup? That's security? As soon as I get loud, here you come. The approach of the security makes things worse. You need to give me some space. You need to give me some feet, for real. You're about to make me snap up in here. I'm, I'm already pissed off. Y'all got me f***ed up in here. I don't want nothing to do with y'all. Bet you won't call me a f*** in my face. Can you tell me where the f*** owner is? Hello, the owner of the establishment? She demands to see the owner. Actually, it probably was your security guard that called me a no, no, no. I was the one that came in here, tried to spend my money, is what I did. Okay. And come instead of trying to come in here, I'm not even talking to you. Where? It's a whole bunch of bullshit. Where? I sat over there for 30 minutes. You, you don't, don't have to yell at me. You don't understand me. I understand. Evidently, give me Stop. some seat. You're in my You're in my store. store. You're in my oh, store. well. No, what the f are you going to do? Ashley tries to calm the situation, but things do not go as she expected. Yes. Stop screaming the store, both of everybody. Excuse me, can I take care of something? Do I need any help? Les has had enough of the behavior. I don't have to come back here at all. What else can I do for you? Bet you won't call me a bitch. I stay looking good. That's what I do. Mother thanks. Find somewhere else to go. It's some bullshit. Keep it moving, y'all. Keep it moving. Next up, a gentleman is looking to sell an item. I'm looking to get some money for it, man. I'm going to get about 50 or 60 bucks. I'm broke. I'm hurting. Give me some money, man. What? All right, 10 bucks. Are you out of your mind, man? Les steps in. I'd like to sell it, man. I got a got a medical problem I need to uh, deal with, man. At least 60 bucks, please, man. I'll buy it from you for 20. Are you nuts, brother? Yes, I am. I'm the craziest mother you ever saw in your life. I think so. I know it. Security takes care of him. You want to get hurt today? I wouldn't be too stupid if I was you. But so what if I jump this, you? See that big gun this mother got? We're not interested in that, so what's the problem? They're lucky they got you, man. And if we don't have him, then we got him. And then we got three other mother behind you. Oh, is he down? Because nobody messes with us here. Next up, a lady tries to sweet talk Les into giving her a good deal. I'm looking to get rid of this. How much did you want for the TV? I want 500 for it. We actually sell them for under 250. So I could give you 100. What do you I gotta do to get you to give me $500? These aren't worth $500. I want some money. However, Les stays firm on the offer. You're trying to play me like I'm stupid. Is anybody that pulls so their boobs out in the middle of a store oh, is has what? to be all there. all there? You were all there twice. You. She becomes agitated after not getting her wish. Yourself. I have nice and he just looked at them like they were nothing. A customer seeking assistance becomes unruly. Hey, lay on this mother. This is a sex table. Damn, I'll get some on this mother boy. I want Ashley, man. That's my girl. Yeah, I want Ashley, man. Directing disrespectful comments at Ashley. That's my bitch. That's who I've been screaming for. Come in. That's Ashley. Get your ass over and shut up. And even though security was there with Ashley, something surprising happened. Get off of that. Get kicked in the face. Look, let me ask you something. No, you shut. be quiet. Look, come this way, baby. If he let me, I'll be slapping that ass. Less visibly rattled and protective, Steps in swiftly. Really? You don't think so? You don't disrespect my daughter in life. Get the out of here.
he makes it emphatically clear that his family is off limits. Man, I'll f your ass, man. I'll tear that f up, boy. I'll tear that f up. Tear that f out of here. But it didn't last long because he started talking about Seth too. Bitch, don't put his mother hands on me. Where's Seth ass at? Little small talk, buff, buff, pistol, bitch. A young man from Dallas attempts to pawn his grandma's watch. Let me at least like four hundred for this watch right here. It's worth a twenty. Mm -hmm. How much you pay for it? Maybe like seven. Yeah, man, tell me the truth. What'd you really pay? Tell you the truth, man. Yeah, Come on, give me four. Did. Give me four for this watch, man. Come on, man. Come on, give me like four fifty for this Why watch. Why are you yelling at me? I got a baby on the way, dog. Congratulations. I'm sick of living, I'm sick of living at the crib, man. Come on, give me four hundred for this watch. It ain't hard. The customer persists. I got a baby on the way. They gonna do this bull to me, dog. You said it. I didn't say it. Hey, give me some cash for this watch, man. Four hundred. No, I'm sorry. This is a bull ass place, man. This whole ass place, dog. The situation escalates. Y'all, man, it's a bull. Uh, excuse me. Hey, bitch, pick bitch, it up. Dog. You call what? Hey, who the you calling a bitch? You? I'll knock you the out. You don't know who you talking to. Show me. Les has had enough. Touch me, homie, dog. Touch me, dude. Right, I'm out this bitch. A young man comes into the shop. Trying to see how much I can get for this. I'm trying to get like, I'm trying to get at least a honey for it. $100? Yeah. I won't even be able to sell it for near that. So how much can you give me, man? 20 bucks. I need my money. I I'm understand. Need at least $100 for this. You paid 200 for that, I ever heard? $200? I'll sell you, I'll sell you like four of them for less than that. Why would I want to buy? I'm trying to get money for it. But this young man wants his $100. I need more than $20. Why is there more staff out here? Get some help. I've been waiting for an hour. I need to see a manager right now. Yelling can be heard from where Les is staying, sensing something is going on. What the you gonna do, old man? Who are you calling old mother? Old man? He is even more enraged and does something he will regret later. Who the you calling? Really, mother? I got this. I got it. You wanna give me more than 20 dollars? Les takes matters into his own hands. Time to go. You. I've been waiting for an hour. Me. You. Yes. Trying to get his girlfriend out of jail, this boyfriend needs help. Girl, ring up in here. She had to end up getting locked up. What I'm trying to do is basically sell it to y'all so I can get her out. In here already? Yeah. So how are you going to sell it? Where's the pawn slip? I ain't got it. I can't do anything for you. You can look her name up. I cannot. I cannot pull up somebody else's account without the pawn slip. Look, bitch, you pissing me off. Bitch, you can't check it out and I'm sitting here telling you in there. Things get too far and Les steps in. Give me the ticket. I ain't got the ticket. Check her name. Can't. Bring her ticket. I ain't got the ticket. She locked up. She's he does not let his attitude slide. Let me get the mother ring up. See, the mother ring you can't get because it's not in your mother name. So no, I'm getting pissed off in this bitch. Let me get the mother Put your money. hands off my window. You tough behind this glass, huh? Les takes full control of the situation, and security does their job. I ain't helping you. I'm here. I'm not tough behind the window. I'm tough in front of the window. It's time to go. There you go. There you go. Tell your woman I said hello. Go the home. Let's go Hey, I ain't worried, man. We have two customers with the wrong ticket. Oh, I came up here earlier to pay on my loan. The long ticket is wrong. Y'all gave me a dude's ticket. So you need to do your job and get my right. Les tries to resolve the situation. Somebody by the name of Daryl. Who the is Daryl? Do your job. Oh, I want the right ticket. What are you yelling about? He is left with no choice but to escort them out. A customer walks in and asks for his daughter's item. I need to pick up some stuff for my daughter. You have the ticket? No. Unfortunately, without a ticket, I can't let you pick it up. What do you mean without a ticket? No, no. I want the stuff. Les steps in. We can't give it to you. But I can talk to all the players. Or... Me? What kind of business you running? A legitimate one. I bet you want to talk and give me my stuff. You're out here. I'd get my stuff. I'm not going to go all the way back to Mississippi, go back down here just for a tick. And what's he going to do? Security has to get involved. Scared yeah, him? but he ain't no alligator. He's just a bad mother. I don't care. Hey, I ain't scared of him. Oh, I ain't scared of him. Come on, man. Hey, man, you can't get. Hey, I tell you what, big boy. I want my stuff. 
cheap and low down place. The customer returns to the pawn shop with a request. I found my computer. I want to come and get my hard drive. I got stuff on it. Les offers him the only solution possible. When you get out of pawn, you can have it back. Once it's in pawn, my employees cannot go back there and touch it. That's stupid. For real, though, I need my hard drive, and I ain't leaving until I get it. Unhappy with the news, the customer starts changing his tone and aggressively insulting Les. I just want my hard drive. When you pawn something, it's ours. Until you pay back the loan. Period. I'm about to get pissed off. Told you. Please. That's a whoop, dog. I need my hard drive, dog. For real. I'm not, I'm not leaving this window until I get my hard drive, dog. The situation starts escalating. What you talking about right now, dog? Can I have my hard drive? You can't. Damn it. Stop swearing at me, mother. You gonna try to be funny, dog? I know what that's saying. I see you, bro. No, dog, you gotta walk up to me like that, dog. I'm not going nowhere until I get my hard drive. I ain't going no dog. <laughs> get my Dad, who let the dog out? Tell some dog, get off. Y'all my got me. Get, get off me, dog. Get off me. What? Moving on. A customer with nothing on pawn in his name. You got ID? Show me. Here was a guy that proceeded to hand me a driver's license, which had a different picture than the driver's license that was on his ticket. Put your thumb on there one more time. Bro. Neither of them matches? That's Steven. Who is Steven? That's serious. Really it's serious. Because I wanted to get the same price. This guy tried to pull the wool over our eyes, and we busted him. What, what, what's the hold on, his ID. He used your ID. Tensions rise, and security has to step in. Get the out. Here, take your money back. Here. Your brother's playing some games. This guy tried to be a big shot, you know, making a lot of noise. I don't give a how big you are. I'm in your face. Les welcomes a customer who is looking to get her item back. I know the computer is in here. Show me the ticket. And I'm a, I don't have it with me, but okay. I have my ID. Brand new Dale in the box, never been opened. However, there seems to be a misunderstanding. Yeah, she does have a fur coat. We definitely have your fur coat. No, I want my computer. You have a fur coat in front. And I understand that. Y'all don't know how to talk to nobody. I'm the little dog. Taller no, than no. I am. Yeah, I'm a big, powerful mother big dog. Security is right there to take care of the situation. Now, what would you want? with a poor bitch's computer. I run this mother I'm like the VIP up in this bitch. So find my if I'm stupid, you stupid. We just two stupid mother Well, the problem is, is going her out of here. Yeah, enough of it. Hands off. Hands off. Hands off. Hands like that big, big mother Less deals with a dad who seems to be more than disappointed. I was doing good, but my boys team sucks. And we got beat 9-1 to and we had uh, seven errors. We're just trying to change the fortune of this team. $900 on a radar gun, which I thought was going to make the team do better. And the team just sucks. They all seem to be appalled at the behavior. Poor kids. Sports are supposed to build confidence. All this dad is doing is tearing his kid down. How much are you looking for? I'd like to get 700 for it if possible. All right, so can we test this thing out? Should I make a bad throw and hit him in the nuts? You need to throw harder than that, son. You threw that like a girl. Rich decides to give him a taste of his own medicine. Yeah, <laughs> pretty fast. Yeah. Getting so close. Hurt my hand here. How did you learn to throw like a girl? <laughs> I think you gotta always remember, it's, it's a game. It is a game, but I want to win. It's not about you. You know, I could never imagine degrading my son like this father was doing. The dad makes a comment that crosses the line. Still at 650, I'll throw the kid in. I'll throw the kid in. Let me be honest with you. Shame on you for treating your son like that. I mean, it's in front of him. In front of us. He played like So what? It's your kid. You're a you. I don't even want the gun. You need to get the hell out of here right now before before I make you. Yeah, don't disrespect me like get that. Get the hell out of here. As a parent, you'd be OK with that? Just having your kid being a little loser? Going back to his house and being a little loser? Yeah, I'm just a citizen. I'm You're a just a citizen? Then get out of my way. Make me. You're a little bigger than I am. Let's go. Looking to pawn a tool, this next customer seems oddly suspicious. I got a framing gun here I'm trying to pawn on. All right, Martha, let's go. It ain't holding no compression, big man. You said what? Here's the straight out of here, so I really wouldn't be able to take it like that. Big. I just was using that gun. So I did just plug it in, sir. Here's the oh, I, I ain't see all that, man. It seems this customer is hiding something. Look, man, I just brought this gun up here, man. He talking about it don't work. I just was using this gun, though. I, I was nailing the frame to a house. What size nails did you put in there? Why are you asking me all this stuff? Are you even a man? Yeah, he is. I said, man, I'm this here, gun buddy. Was, I'm not going to ask you. Dog, you. I'm here. I listen, just brought dog. this gun up. Doesn't here, listen. Because it doesn't work. Dog, what the f was you yelling at, dog?
He chooses the wrong vocabulary with Les and Seth. Dude, I need this money, dog. Hey, I wasn't even talking to him. He called you. Stop I'm not me. trying to overtalk so you, dog. Why in the f is you yelling at me, dog? What's your problem, dude. Sir. Why is you in my mother? Face. What you walking up on me for, dog? Security approaches and makes sure this customer is escorted out. You don't want to f with dog. me, dog. I walk up out here by myself. Hey, dog. Dog, I walk out here myself, man. Sorry. Hey, man, don't touch me, man. Get the f off me, man. Man. It all starts when a customer is unhappy. Yo, you're gonna what? I didn't hear what you said. Tell me what you're gonna do to the hand out of my face. You ain't supposed to touch me. Come on, man, let's go, baby. The tension keeps building. If somebody threatened us, there is no chance you was getting to your car. They threaten to hurt less, scaring everyone. Who you gonna kill, huh? Not my face. Who you gonna kill? Not my face. Who you gonna kill? Who you gonna kill? Who you gonna kill? Who you gonna kill? Ashley, thinking fast, calls the police for help. Hi, I have a threat up here at American Jewelry and Lawn right now. Surprisingly, the customer apologizes. I was mad because I lost all my stuff. I might have did say something to that effect, but it was only venting, like any normal person would. We gonna walk you out. So I decided to let him go. He got very lucky. This lady walks up to Les with a golden bracelet. A bracelet on a pond. My baby daddy gave it to me. In the 70s, I used to make chain vests, chain belts. These are actually curtain tiebacks. You know this isn't real. She is not happy with Les's evaluation. My bracelet is not fake. It's 100% fake. It's, it's a real bracelet. Listen, okay, about. fine. I'm about to call him right now. He said what this reason? bracelet costs $500. What, what are you talking about? Anyway. He's lying to you. Baby, did you give me some fake gold? You said you was going to marry me one day. <laughs> Why wouldn't I? Tell me what's logical about this. Excuse me. Excuse me. Have a very nice day. Thank you. Man, f this. What the f is you talking about? Have a nice day. Right? You know what? y'all. Okay. A customer with a pair of golf clubs. Got a problem with this guy down there. Talking about he won't take these golf clubs because they spoil. This is Marling? Yeah, man. Spoil, man. But what's wrong with him? How much did you want for him? At least 150. I can go 10 bucks. The customer gets angry. $10 for all these clubs? All of them. Dad, let me see a manager, man. Hello? You're not no manager, man. This is Joe, the manager. Who, him? Get out of here. You're not going to give me. No crackhead price. Les has no choice but to lead him out. Whatever. I ain't going nowhere until I get my money. I want my 150. I know that much. Get the off the f***ing furniture. It'd be the worst day of your life if you don't. Bruh, look at you and look at me. Look at him and look Man, at him. that. I go. Security is there and takes care of it. What the f you walk behind me for, cuz? Thank you for watching. And as always, like and subscribe for more content.